12,000 strong Beaver Stadium, University Park, Pennsylvania, Big Ten football on the deuce. The Indiana Hoosiers and the Penn State. Bill Mallory in his 12th year at Indiana, 26th as a head coach. The Hoosiers 0-4 in Big Ten Conference play and Will Horn to start our afternoon. Taken at the six-yard line. The return out to the 27 by Stephen Pitts, number 40. Penn State offensively, Wally Richardson, the quarterback, his first year as a starter, and Mike Archie, one of three tailbacks you'll see this afternoon. Bobby Ingram, the man to talk about, of course, the most prolific pass receiver in Penn State history. Watch out for Freddie Scott in the wide receiver and flanker position. And then the offensive line, Jeff Hardings is the anchor of a very strong offensive line, highly touted at the beginning of this season. A start from the 28-yard line. Play action to begin the game. Lots of time and protection incomplete. The intended receiver on the play was Freddie Scott. Defensive line. Richardson, a long count. Looks to pass the football. Going over the middle. Complete to Freddie Scott. First down, Nittany Lions. She is the tailback, number two. Richardson again. Great protection for Wally Richardson. First completion of the afternoon to Bobby Ingram. Sorry. Scott goes in motion. Archie, the ball carrier, gets a good block. Cuts back. First down, Penn State. Second play of this drive. Play action again. Richardson up top. Looking for Freddie Scott. End zone. And the pass interference called. All over. The intended receiver, Freddie Scott, was Joe King, number five. Richardson gives it to the up back and a good hole opened on the line first and goal from the seven Go towards the end zone ball carrier touchdown Curtis Enos the freshman with the touchdown of seven yards and stayed on the board The two yard drive capped off by the freshman scampering seven yards into the end zone Nittany Lions on the board Have a new tight end on first down they go quickly and the ball carrier is Glover, and he gets up ahead to about the 31-yard line, met by Aaron Collins. Defensively, Terry Killens and Todd Atkins, the two guys on the outside, as good as any tandem in the Big Ten Conference, they will get to the quarterback today. Aaron Collins, Gerald Filardi, and Jim Nelson, the linebacking set. And as you can see, coaches, we try to work our way through the lineups. Indiana and Aiden struggling this year, no question. They give it to Glover again. He's got a hole, makes a move, and gets it. They get it to Glover again. Glover hit short of the first down yard. Start for the Nittany Lions. First and ten. Greenlee had nowhere to go. Good coverage downfield. Greenlee. Protection for a time, but not long enough. First sack of the afternoon for Todd Atkins. Eight was beaten, but the quarterback just could not find him. Tremendous job there. Richardson checking off at the line of scrimmage. Drops back. Pressure on. Applied by Indiana. Dumps it off into the flat. First down, Penn State. Ten ball on the 40. Richardson again play action. And it's Brian Milne. Another first down. He's still on his feet. Milne scampering inside the 30. Hauled down at the 24-yard line. In the stadium today as a high school junior. Milnes was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. He did not play any form of athletics for four years. In the flat, they faked the, the counter play. Richardson doing a good job. Tremendous one-hand catch. Gain of 37 yards. And now Mike Archie, the ball carrier coach. Saturday afternoon in the stadium. Third and two from the 15. Working around the outside is... The snap the hold is good. Conway's kick is up. And it is no good. 38 times he showed that he can be a workhorse. There they go again to the man we spoke of, Sean Glover. Stopped after a gain of lunch. From the shotgun, Greenlee at quarterback. Dumps it over the middle to the big man, and it goes incomplete. In and out of the hands of Steve Lee. And Aaron Collins really laid a helmet into the chest of Steve Lee. Third down situations. You've got an opportunity to make a play right there. Steve Lee has got to find a way to catch that ball and hang no on huddle. to it. And start from the shotgun. Ditto over the middle, complete. A reception made on the play by Ajamu Stoner. And a flag, a late flag, comes down on the football fields. 
Gonna have they're already on the Penn State 40. Now they work it again in the hurry up. Out to the flat, complete again. So coming out of the box, Chris Ditto has completed his Except first two Penn passes. State defense. From the gun, 28-yard line of Penn State. Over the middle, intercepted. Intercepted by Aaron Collins. And he has got a lot of blue jerseys to help block. Collins still on his feet. Inbound inside the 20. Aaron Collins for the Penn State touchdown. to get another look at it Chris Ditto the interception is caused by the ball being thrown behind Ajama Stoner great job by Collins of picking it up we mentioned the block by number 13 Clint Holes that really opened the door there's the block downfield by number 13 great block in the 20-yard line and the football off to Sean Glover. He pushes with a strong arm. Now Glover's got room. A gain of about 16 Carry on yards. the day for Glover. This time from the shotgun. Ditto. Time. Intercepted. Overthrew Eric Matthews. Another Penn State interception. Brian Miller, number 34. And that again, just a poorly thrown football. For the ball being thrown high is the, the footwork of the quarterback. And there we saw at the end of the replay, the offensive lineman actually hit backed up. 14 to nothing Penn State great field position 34 yard line of Indiana Richardson with all kinds of time looks towards Freddie Scott was he inbounds no incomplete second and ten now for Wally Richardson and the Nittany Lion offense a little delay to Mike Archie Archie has some good blockers in here. They give to the big man and he pulls his way ahead John Whitman for the first down took advantage of it last week against Iowa now the pitch for the man we spoke of inside the 10 yard line practice that he had a hot hand pits to the hot hand again to the outside pitch towards the end zone touchdown Lions great lead blocked by John Whitman Stephen Pitts finds the end zone scrimmage attacks the goal line he gets his shoulders turned downfield we're gonna see a great block on number 45 by the fullback Millborn, Georgia, take a look at the touchdown run by Stephen Pitts. Scampers over the left side. Lions are in control. The interception returns. Your defense hasn't been on the field to participate in any of the point scoring. Good protection on Chris Ditto. Goes the other way, completes the pass up to the 27 the rest of the offensive team. From the 40, first down. In trouble, football squirts free. Third turnover of the afternoon. The ball right into the hands of Todd Atkins. Big hit by Brandon Noble. Todd Atkins gets the football. Started to release the football. We're going to see the pressure coming from number 92, Terry Killens. The ball pops up into the air, and we've got our third turnover early in this football game. They rule it a fumble, not an interception. Watch again. Killens, the man we talked about, and his partner on the outside, Todd Atkins, come up big for the Nittany Lions. Go back with great field position. Football spotted on the 31-yard line. Play action, Richardson looking towards the sideline, incomplete, overthrew his intended for Wally Richardson. Richardson gets the protection again. Now he had a center kind of back off on him, and he almost threw the, or the interception. Meaningful number on his statistical line thus far. Gives to Glover, he works around the right side. Glover gets a block, and he's up in the air. Little stutter step, Glover trying to find him. In their preseason practice. From the shotgun, third and three, ditto over the middle, first down. Ditto works play action. Ditto pressure on, throws the football away, and it hits the ground incomplete. Aaron Influenced Collins. by people like Woody Hayes. He's tough. He's not going to give up. And Chris Ditto will not get through the arms of Terry Killens. He got right into the line. Now the flag goes down late. Killens earns the sack. On the replay, we see number 92, Terry Killens, showing his athletic ability. He started with the outside rush. And then he came on the inside move and simply hurled. After the big loss, the sack and the yardage tacked on after the personal foul. Dumped and intercepted again. Ditto just threw it up for grabs and coming away with the football, the up man, Brad Schioli. See here, the pressure starts to come right there, and he doesn't have a receiver open. Take the sack. Everyone might understand what is it. Ingram lined up on the far side, and look who they give the football to. Bobby Ingram on the reverse, gets a block, works his way up to the 11-yard line. Short, though, of the first down yardage. Hits the ball carrier, spins, first down Penn State. Third and goal from the 7-yard line for Penn State. 
Richardson rolls right, looking, looking, dumps it off, gets it to the big tight end, and he stopped at the three-yard line. Keep ball. Conway, two of two on the air, between 10 and 29 yards, and he makes his third. So three of three inside 30, and it makes our score 24 to nothing. Penn State, they capitalize on another IU team. Chris Diddle just having a rough afternoon with three interceptions. Greenlee, first play, a broken play. It results in a sack by Terry Killens. Killens with the sack, his third of the day. He's back in the football game, and throwing under quick pressure was Adam Greenlee, and man, oh man, did the defensive unit of Penn State come that time. Hoosiers today. Adam Greenlee again at quarterback over the middle, and he threw behind his intended receiver, Eric Matthews, and Brandon Noble got a hand on the football. And he had a window to throw it. Second and ten, Greenlee from the shotgun. Throws it complete, but it goes incomplete now with the, the good shotgun. Time. Adam Greenlee in in relief of Chris Ditto. Now Greenlee completes it. The pass reception made by Ajama Stoner. Don't forget the GMAC halftime report forthcoming with Kenny Main. Dumped off into the flat, Sean Glover. Glover tried to avoid the would-be tackler, cannot do so. Open field tackle made on the play. And Mark Tate, number 33, and it'll be a fourth and four from the 48. Mallory, with the final seconds ticking away, will go for it. Clock moving with now 10 seconds remaining in the first half. Greenlee scampering near side. Greenlee keeps it himself, and he is close to the first down. And that will be the last play of the first half. Nonetheless, Aaron Collins makes the stop. Truly the story in the first 30 minutes. Turnovers. Penn State scores 17 points off of Indiana's four turns. We are at the half. Production of both of these football teams. 24-point difference to go along with a 30-yard differential. Normally when you come out to start the second half, if you've got one more first down in your opponent and there's only 30 yards different in total offense, you've got a close football ball game. Indiana, who has moved the ball well, as Kirk alluded to, goes incomplete on the first pass Indiana. attempt. Indiana. Greenlee, under pressure, bounced to his backside by Brad Schioli, number five. Situation came with the blitz. We see their linebackers coming into the picture, number 44, Jim Nelson, causing Greenlee not to have anyone to throw to. And another punting situation for Alan Sutkowski. This time he gets away a booming punt that bounces inside the 20-yard line, picked up by Bobby Engram at the 12. Engram scampers back, still on his feet, out to the 32-yard line. for Bobby Engram, the most prolific passer in Penn State history. They give the football to number two, Mike Archie. Archie works around the left side, in for the first down. This year, they won't need one today. At least we don't think so at this point. John Whitman pulls his way up ahead, past the, the defense, a chance to stop them, and then just rammed it down their throat. Mike Archie now does that, works around the left side. Archie inside the 25-yard line. Seen the counter gap play. Watch number 50, Jeff Hardings, on the, the pull and doing a great job. Steven Pitts to the opening series for Penn State here in the second half. Richardson under pressure. Good performance by Matt. Rolling left. Richardson looking end zone. Touchdown. Bobby Engram. This is going to be enjoyable to watch Bobby Ingram up top. Watch him turn the defender around. He gives him a good, hard move into the post. Came back to the corner. What makes that so effective is the great Over timing. The Indiana Hoosiers. From the end zone, taken by number three, Eric Matthews, and good special teams coverage on the play Four by Glover. Second and six for Indiana. Play action, pressure on. Greenlee eludes the rush, takes a late hit, throws the football away. Greenlee, good pickup block by Glover, throws it in and through the hands of his intended receiver. We've got a late flag on the play. Jim Nelson defensively too well, though. Yep. That's a different team's action. So the first down after the pass interference, Greenlee going to the far side, looking towards the receiver, Rich Kearney. It goes incomplete. Brian Miller on the cover. Glover did not start any games last year. Ditto falls in front of me Greenlee, and he has to State throw it away. Defenders an opportunity to get their hands on. 
Lukowski, and the kick is blocked by Terry Killens. He's got the football at the nine-yard line, working towards the end zone. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, Penn State. Before he came to Penn State, and we're going to see that he avoids the block of number 27 and then has the foot speed to close on the punter. The awareness to come over, take time to bend down, pick the ball Indiana up. Indiana offensively again. Back at quarterback is Chris Ditto. He hands off to Sean Glover. Glover goes around the right side for a gain of five. The company. Ditto to pass over the middle complete. That's the biggest completion of the day by Chris Ditto. Remaining in the third quarter. Ditto with pressure. Terry Killens. Who else? Sixth sack of the day by Penn State. The sack off of the blitz. We're going to see the four-man pressure coming from the weak side. Number 33, Sean Glover, the tailback, was third and 20. Pressure from the backside. Stepping up is Ditto. Just got it away. Complete for the first down. Off your tentative with your throws. Second and six. Now here's Ditto with time. Pumps, and now the pressure will get to him as he Ditto was four for four on the drive. Now on third and four, they hand the football to Sean Glover, and he pulls his way up for another first. and ten from the 23-yard line. Glover again. And this time, he's wrapped up by Mark Tate. Ditto from the gun. Looks over the middle, and he goes complete again, this time to Eric Matthews. When the ball came out. Second and seven from the nine, and Glover slips. Ten-yard line of the Lions. Movement at the line, flag on the play. Ditto. Intercepted. Gerald Filardi came away with the football. But the flag was thrown well before the pass was tossed by Chris Ditto. Five. Glover, second effort. He is going to be very close to the first down. Glover again. Touchdown, Indiana. Sean Glover goes over the top. Good lead blocked by the fullback, Steve Lee, and the Hoosiers finally find the end zone. Mike, I want to go back. Penn State on the offense. Mike Archie, the ball carrier, number two. Archie works from the 16-yard line. All kinds of time for Wally Richardson. He'll step up in the pocket, takes a hit. Near the Absolutely. <laughs> Pitch back to Mike Archie. Archie works the right side of the line. Thrown five balls the entire year. Let's watch Richardson in work. Now he gives the football to Steven Pitts. Spitz works around the outside. Set up. From the 32, they pitch it to the freshman, Curtis Enos. He gets the first down yardage out to the 10. Football on the 42 of Penn State. Now back in the football game, another runner of the football for Penn State. And this time, it's number 23, Chris Eberle. Senior out of Waterford, PA. Third and two, the situation. Up the middle, who else but the man that we spoke of earlier. It looks like that day. McCreary, play action. Tipped off an Indiana player, then goes through the hands of the intent. Beautiful landscape around Beaver Stadium. Of course, the College of Agriculture is big uh, here at Penn State. Ditto. Has to avoid the rush. Now working towards the sideline, forced out of bounds. The pressure applied by Chris Snyder and a late flag thrown. Scores from around the nation, you can see. Now the handoff given to Sean Glover. And you have to respect the day that Sean Glover... First and 10, football on the 35. Ditto steps up in the pocket. Now he will run it, plenty of room. First down yardage and more. Ditto all the way into Penn State. The last territory. three games of the season. Now Ditto over the middle. Ditto almost intercepted. Well, he missed some open receivers. Second and 15. Ditto working pressure from the backside. Football's on the turf. Penn State has it. Another turnover. Chris Snyder got the pressure. Starts. We all day we saw Atkins, we saw Killens, and again from that same position. This is Todd Atkins' backup, number 91. Chris Snyder is able to get that pressure. To off. Get those backup people in. It's important to your team, important to those young people. McCreary trying to go up top, looking for his receiver inside the 20. Reception made, going to be a touchdown, Penn State. Joe Jervicious, a 55-yard touchdown reception from the backup quarterback Mike McCreary trying to put points on the board by throwing the ball. My personal feeling is you got your backup quarterback in the game. You've got to give him a chance to throw the football because if he has to come into a critical situation, he's, he's going to have that experience. We saw on that replay 
the now from the shotgun pressure on the quarterback ditto ditto brought down for the ninth time on the day on the defensive line of scrimmage comes behind they bring a linebacker inside they brought the other defensive lineman and he looped all the way around and had the foot speed and I can't emphasize how important foot speed is in closing to the quarterback for sacks so another punting situation Chris Campbell receives the punt as Bobby Ingram's day is uh, likely come to an end look at the effort by the youngster Chris Campbell still on his feet in the club. there's all kind of ways to have fun Mike there's no question about it and the youngster having fun running the football working around the outside fourth and two they pitch the football to Curtis Enos and he has stopped behind the line of scrimmage the play made by Aaron so Williams. so impressive under a minute 30 remaining now ditto throws it into the flat and it's uh, caught by Eric Matthews oh, no. in front of him and those three guys as you see Lee, they should from the gun ditto I'll tell you, I'll tell you just 14 3 just mark it down but the football squirts free out of the arms of Matt Big Ten championships national championships as they are going to give their young people an opportunity to get an education and graduate from Penn State on the second and eight we'll see if that helps him mentally in the weeks to come ditto from the five throws it touchdown Indiana so Chris ditto uses Eric Matthews with frequency and Indiana gets there second touchdown of the he came afternoon in with just 10 catches on the season so he's had quite an afternoon for himself on sidekick Freddie Scott couldn't handle it took a big hit and we'll see who came away with a football Indiana has the football and so they will stay on the offense with 30 seconds 37 seconds remaining in the latter moments trying to score another touchdown ditto takes the low snap working in the shotgun going towards the end zone wide open Dorian Wilkerson another touchdown for the Hoosiers 36 yard touchdown reception by Dorian Wilkerson. Same situation as one year ago. This side, the onside kick handled nicely by Freddie Scott. He'll sit down, and now Penn State will have a chance after the flags go a flying to run the champion like we have in the Final Four in basketball. Indiana, the miscues cost them today. Penn State ups their record to six and two on the year, three and two in the Big Ten. They await the Northwestern Wildcats up in Evanston next week. And congratulations to Joe Paterno, career win number 275. And it certainly appears that they uh, are, are smiling, and Bill certainly has an understanding, and probably Joe's explaining that situation to him. But they're two guys that have known each other for a long time. And that's a, a real show of sportsmanship on their part. That's the story here at State College. Penn State gets the win, 45-21. For Bill Lewis and Kirk Herbstreit, Mike Goldberg saying...